Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFP TV. Today's field strip is going to be of a German MP40 from the Second World War. The MP40 served the German military throughout the conflict and was kind of the Thompson's nemesis on the Western Front and known colloquially as the Schmeiser, uh, despite the fact that it wasn't designed by him. However, some of the magazines the Allies found said his name on there. The magazine holds 32 rounds of 9mm Parabellum, which Pretty reasonable capacity for the day, two more than a Thompson. Also got cool features such as a Bakelite resting bar for uh, resting outside of a half track or something like that so you don't mess up the barrel or what have you. Um, they're also very compact for getting in and out of vehicles or for paratroopers. And they feature a really nice folding stock. It's a bit wobbly, but uh, hey, it's better than no folding stock. Um, it's also got a threaded barrel. There were proprietary suppressors made for these, as is my understanding, and of course, blank firing attachments for training and whatnot. Um, they're also very safe firearms for being open bolt. You can actually lock the charging handle forward to not allow the bolt to be pulled to the rear, or you can unlock it and charge the firearm. And then the sear holds the bolt because these are open bolt firearms. Um, when it's open, you can also lock the bolt to the rear in a slot located on the receiver tube. That makes it so no matter what you do if you pull the trigger, there's no way that bolt's going forward unless, I guess, the uh, the handle's sheared off. Um, so, anyways, let's get to field stripping it. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the magazine. There's a large button on the left side of the gun that allows you to do this. Very easy to do. Then you're going to take the disc right here, pull it down, and rotate. It locks itself once you rotate it. Then you're going to pull the trigger while rotating the upper and lower halves away from each other. This allows them to be separated, and you can undo the sling if you wish to separate them further. Um, you can also now see how the lower works. It's pretty simple. It's just a wedge that's uh, connected by a transfer bar to the trigger. Now to disassemble the rest of the gun, remove the firing pin assembly. It's weird because it's a telescoping firing pin that's basically a patent of Hugo Schmeiser, and it uh, functions with uh, an element of pneumatic uh, uh, delay in there, which is neat. Um, then remove your bolt from the rear. And now we're used to seeing open bolt guns with a fixed firing pin milled onto the bolt face, but you can see here there's actually no fixed firing pin because it's part of that telescoping assembly I showed just a second ago. So all in all kind of strange relative to a modern open bolt gun. That's really all it takes to field strip these. It's not much more complicated than a Thompson. I would say actually a little less complicated than a Thompson M1A1. Um, a lot less complicated than a 1921 or 28. But uh, these are a real pleasure to shoot. If you're at a range and you see one for rent and then a Thompson for rent, I'd probably recommend the MP40. They're a little gentler to shoot. And the slow cyclic rate is going to make your ammo last a little longer. But uh, if I was in a firefight, I would rather have a higher cyclic rate. That's just me. I'm not a fighting man, but, uh, you know, Having uh, more bullets downrange and a better volume of fire is what wins fights these days. However, the MP40 was no slouch. It did its job, and it did its job very well. Uh, the Germans used this to great effect, as did forces after the war. Anyways, guys, this is Alex C. with TFP TV. Thank you very much for watching. Special thanks to Grizzly Targets and Ventura Munitions for making this video possible. Hope to see you next week, guys.